I think uh, our main purpose right now is to kind of um, have a definition for our team um, and our identity is going to be the main goal. Um, we all have to be on the same page um, and the team chemistry is the most important thing. Um, before we could even see the court, we're going to have to know how to play as a unit um, and understand that uh, it's a family here. Um, and um, before we could even uh, see um, you know, a six on six game, um, we, we have to understand who we are as uh, individuals and as a team. Definitely, uh, it's being aggressive um, early on. I mean, uh, I'm always preaching um, that we want to be the first one to knock the other players down. Um, it's no different than a boxing match. Um, there's either one boxer slapping and there's one trying to knock you down. We want to be the team that's going to knock you down. Um, you're not going to see little uh, roll shots or tips. We're going to go after it. Um, same thing with the serves. Uh, we want to be aggressive on serving. Um, and we just want to be well known and just create a definition for us as a, a knockout team. I mean, it's, it's a whole different team. I mean, every individual that we have uh, coming in has played club uh, at one point or the other. Uh, for the most part, everyone has played club for more than three years. And when you bring in a uh, talented group who's all on the same page, it just makes transitioning easier. I mean, uh, we have top hitters like Madison McLean, Cameron Printer. Um, we have Ali Scott. Um, we have um, transfer J.C. Allen. Um, we have a great libero, um, Bianca Herman. Um, I mean, we have a very talented group. I mean, most importantly, we have the depth um, all around. And um, being able to have a depth um, on the bench will allow us to play until December. And those national tournaments um, down in Sioux City, Iowa, um, they're going to be playing about you know, five, six matches a week. Um, so um, if we could come in with the mindset that, you know, there's someone ready to step right on in and uh, just keep healthy bodies um, all throughout December, um, that's the main goal here, especially with the freshmen. Um, and, you know, I think good things will happen. Definitely. I think uh, last season um, we had to take a step back um, and we really have had to uh, break down a lot of things. Um, this year, uh, we're a lot of, we're a lot more ahead than we were uh, last year, um, hands down. Um, right now, um, you know, we're really talking about being aggressive on serves and serve receive um, with such a great um, incoming class, especially on the defensive side. Um, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of fun to watch the kids play. Um, you know. Uh, defense and serve receive is definitely um, a lot farther where we were uh, than we were uh, in the beginning of last season. Um, finding out the, the pieces to the puzzle last year was, was a was a tough time. You know, you have to be delicate. It was almost like a Rubik's cube. Uh, this year, um, it's just a matter of all right, who's coming in next when this player is getting a little tired. Um, I don't have the uh, problems anymore where I have to uh, kind of figure out, all right, who's going to come in off the bench? This year, we have, we have players ready to go, ready to step on the court and be a difference maker and contribute on the court. Definitely um, confidence. Um, their confidence is out this roof, and that's how it should be. Um, every individual should have their head up high, and especially with um, with our seniors really doing a great job communicating and articulating to our incomers on how to be just a volleyball player, how to be a student athlete, and how to just hold yourselves accountable for what you do on and off the court. Um, that's the biggest thing that I've seen my, my leaders and uh, my returners do. Um, most importantly, what these uh, athletes do um, outside the court will, will uh, represent us as a program and us as coaches. So really, we're just kind of trying to keep the culture um, just alive and strong and bright. Um, all of our returners uh, were great in the academic side. And so before we could become a student, uh, you know, we have to be, uh, before we could become an athlete, we're a student athlete. So um, specifically on the court, our, our, our returning seniors uh, like Mariana um, and Kat, um, 
they're teaching the new girls on a fast tempo offense. You know, last year, uh, you look at film, um, a lot of the balls are just so high up in the air, leaving opponent blockers just more than enough time to get their block set and preload and just waiting to block us. This year around, um, our setters are doing a great job connecting with our hitters, um, where we just want a quick, fast tempo, quick, quick, quick. You know, when we're setting the outside, we're, we're going for goes. When we're setting uh, the middles, um, we're setting quick 32s, fast one balls, and, and that's a big emphasis on speed up the offense. Let's speed it up. And our seniors, they know who we're competing against. I mean, last year, um, we went undefeated at, at the Illinois College Tournament. Um, we won a five-setter with William Woods, who was ranked top 20 in the nation. But when it came to our conference, we had a tough time. Um, right now, our goal, is, our goal is to have a fast offense so we could really show our conference who we are and uh, start winning some more uh, ball games. Definitely. Um, we want to make a good first impression. And, uh, you know, as coaches, uh, we really have to break down uh, uh, the pregame warm ups. Uh, we have to break down what we're talking about in the locker rooms. Uh, most importantly, what we're doing differently this year is that every athlete on the women's volleyball team will have volleyball homework, which is scouting. Um, everyone is gonna write a paragraph or two on who we're playing next. Um, our first match for this upcoming season is Chicago State. We already went to the Henderson building. We already went inside a classroom. We, we pulled up uh, Chicago State's match versus uh, the University of Nevada um, uh, in Las Vegas. You know, we're really, really trying to break down who our opponents are. Our middles are doing their homework. They're finding the, the tendencies that our opponents' middles are doing. Maybe they're a little bit stronger on that one ball or maybe they're a little bit more aggressive on the 32. So we're really trying to figure out their game plan so we're ahead of the game. That's something different that we're doing. Uh, most importantly, also our uh, our pregame warmups. Uh, we changed everything. We want all of our pregame warmups to um, just be everything that we will see in a game. So we're not doing extra things that are not relevant for game time. We're gonna we're gonna be really strong, uh, especially on the serve serve receive when we're emphasizing that in our pregames. Um, our biggest strength on the team right now is. Um, just just learning how to uh, let the athletes know to have some fun. Um, since preseason, everyone's just going after a spot. Everyone is going after everything, and we want to see that work ethic. Um, they have that killer instinct, but what I kind of want to see is them just kind of take a deep breath and let's have some fun while we're doing it. Um, right now, like I said, the girls are, are just really wanting to get a spot. And, you know, at the end of the day, I need six players on that court and I could only put six in, in our libero. Um, so um, right now it's just, let's just have some fun uh, during the process and, and enjoy the process. Um, it's it's going to take some time, um, but I believe that if we could kind of just step in a time machine and just for my freshmen think like we're seniors, um, it allows us to kind of have a different perspective and have a little bit more mature um, uh, view on things where um, we're not careless with swinging. You know, we're not just going to jump up and just swing at anything. We, we're going to look at the block. We're going to look at the seams in the defense. We're going to listen to our liberos, uh, talk to our hitters, you know, um, and that's the main thing also. Our liberos are, are uh, telling our hitters where to go. Where do they see the block? You know, a block might be showing us line. My libero is screaming at my outside, swing line, swing line. Um, so I believe uh, that's kind of the main thing. Definitely. I think one of the differences that we've been doing with the scheduling is uh, we want to see more Division I NCAA opponents, um, specifically because they run a really quick offense. And um, at that level, their setters are, are just shooting those, uh, those uh, fast tempo sets out to the right side. Um, but also um, the uh, back row attack. Um, in our conference, the back row attack is not the uh, most uh, biggest thing um, in our conference, but in the Division One and Division Two D3 NCAA, they run the back row attack um, as their as their first you know option, and even as their second. Um, and in, in our conference, um, you really see. Um, that back row attack is more as a la last resort. So we want to change up the game. Um, we're not here to reinvent the wheel, um, but we are here to uh, use every player efficiently and make sure that they have a role on the court and that they're aggressive at all times. If there's six on the court, you, 
you best believe that all six, including my libero, will be able to put down that ball if they get set. Um, just come to come support the women's volleyball. Uh, this is going to be our year. Um, you have to be a little crazy um, to uh, say that we're after a national championship, but I think we're all on board. And um, the more fans and the more support will just allow our team to grow in confidence. And that confidence will lead um, to the future, whether it's future uh, ball games, uh, future national tournaments. And uh, after they graduate, you want our, we want our student athletes to have all the confidence in the world and, um, and they deserve it.